Let's talk a bit more about infrared thermal photography because it has a lot to do with the sun. This tool reads radiant heat, which is what the sun gives us. And you have to understand it's not an X-ray. Uh, it does not see into things, but using it on the skin of a house, especially from the inside, can be very useful. We generally don't use it on the outside because the sun. Also, interestingly, you can use this tool any day of the year, even if it's 70 degrees outside, 70 degrees inside, because also the sun is going to induce temperature differentials between outside and inside, especially when the roof is uh, in play. And so what these pretty colors are telling you is the emitted, transmitted, and reflected heat of the solid stuff that I'm looking at. Emitted means that I have to understand something about the materials that I'm looking at. So if I'm looking at drywall versus metal, uh, some materials don't like to emit heat. And so you'd want to know that before you take a picture of it or try to say something is true. Uh, transmitted means I have to know where the sun is at all times, because if I'm looking at an image that uh, doesn't make any sense from the other side of the house, and I didn't remember that the sun was beating down on only one side of the house for the last hour, then I get myself in trouble. This can be a dangerous tool. Reflected means that when I'm using this tool, I wanna to always be moving side to side so that I eliminate the possibility that I see something and say, ooh, that's really meaningful, when it was actually just a reflection. You'd be amazed how reflective even really rough things are. So when you're using this on the skin of the house, you're looking for air leakage, especially if the blower door is running, looking for insulation, discontinuities, which is what this could be, or moisture problems, which is also what this could be, because that is the roof. So before you start making decisions on surgery for the house, you want to double check with another instrument just to make sure. Not a roof leak. Corners always look like this, this purple color that you can see on the line where the wall meets the ceiling. That's okay. Don't worry about it. What I'm looking at is not the colors at all. I'm looking at the numbers over here because this is science. This tool is gonna try and show me pretty, pretty colors all the time. And that's not necessarily that, that meaningful. So when you pick up one of these tools, which normal people can get a hold of one of these nowadays, uh, you just wanna understand a bit about the science fundamentals before you start trying to make decisions with it. Happy testing.